What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So we're going to be taking a look at my favorite package manager on iOS 14. Now I did do a video of Zebra, but I think it was way back on iOS 13. So I figured I'll do an updated one for iOS 14 as new people are coming to the jailbreak community and uh, might not know about Zebra and how it works. So I wanted to show you guys. Now, like I said, Zebra is my favorite package manager. I believe there are a total of four choices depending on which jailbreak you use and which, you know, which one you get installed. So if you jailbreak with Uncover, obviously you get Cydia. If you jailbreak with Taurine, you get Cilio. And then from those, you can actually choose to, dis to install Zebra or Installer. And I'm pretty sure there's a way to get Cilio when you've jailbroken with Uncover. I don't think there's a way of getting Cydia when you've jailbroken with Taurine. At least I don't know of that yet. But like I said, Zebra is my favorite. You can get Zebra on any jailbreak. It's, you know, it's its own repo and its own application that you install through whatever package manager you have installed. So I'll show you guys how to get it real quick. It's real simple. So uh, I have Cilio because I'm jailbroken with Taurine. So all you got to do is add this repo to Cilio or Cydia. And then once you have this repo, you can just go ahead and install Zebra and that's all there is to it. And then you will have Zebra. Now, once you've done that, another really smart thing to do is to import all of the, the repos that you have in your older package manager. So all of the repos that are in Cydia or all of the repos that you have in Cilio. So if you go into Zebra, you go to the community sources section here. Uh, as you can see, you can transfer your sources. Now, if you have Cydia, that will show here. If you have Cilio, obviously you can see I have it there. Um, and that's how you can import all of your sources from your other package manager. Thought that that was a really cool feature, uh, being able to do that, super easy. Once you go into whichever package manager you're looking to import sources from, just click on import in the upper right and it will import all of those sources. So now you are ready to rock. You have <laughs> installed Zebra and you have all of your repos or sources from your previous package manager. Now I quickly wanna say that like I said, Zebra is my favorite. It's my personal preference. I think it's the best package manager you can get on iOS 14. I also think it's the most functional and the fastest. I think it's faster than every other um, package manager like installer, uh, definitely faster than Cydia, and I think it's a little bit faster than Cilio as well. So this is just my favorite um, package manager. I use it for you know, installing tweaks and themes and, and everything, you know, that's used in a package manager. I do want to make a quick note though, that every once in a while, and it's super, super rare, but every once in a while, I will have a time where I can't find a package and it usually has to do uh, with the big boss repo for some reason. I can't find that package. So what I'll do is I'll hop over to Cilio and install it there. Um, sometimes it won't let you install a package as well. So I do the same thing. I just hop into either Cilio or Cydia and install it there. And it's usually good to go. But like I said, that is very, very rare. So I will be surprised if you ever come across that. Uh, but I just figured I would mention it just so you guys knew what to do if you ever have that issue. Now, this is going to be a longer video because there's a crap load of stuff in Zebra to show you guys. There's a ton of functions and a lot of cool stuff. So I'm gonna do my best to cover everything and show you all of the cool tricks that you can do with this package manager. So we'll start out with the little gear in the upper right. So this is settings. So the first option is for display. Now you can use a accent color. So we'll go in there and as you can see, you can choose from all of these different accent colors. If you don't wanna use one, you can just use the system accent color. As you can see, that's just the blue it's kind of like the same as in the settings application, um, all of the accent colors like stock for iOS 14, or I believe if you're using a tweak that uses the system accent color or tweaks it and changes it, that's how you can use um, a tweak to change the accent color as well. So just remember that. Um, but if you don't want to, you can use um, any of these accent colors. And as you can see, it does change the accent color of the app. So. Super simple how that works. Uh, you can use your system appearance for light and dark mode. You can disable that if you want it to always be in dark mode or always in light mode, as you guys can see. I usually keep it as that. 
and then you can switch um, the dark mode to be pure black so an OLED black I'm not even sure if you guys will be able to see a difference in video of that I just leave it as like the dark gray I think it looks good the way it is so I just leave that alone you have language options here so if you are using this and you're using a different language you can disable it and you can choose which language you want to use click on apply of course um, but I just use system language because that's all I needed to do. You can choose the app icon as well. It comes with a few different icons to choose from. Um, I do like the ones down here. Those are my favorite. Retro is pretty cool too. Um, these, I'm not a big fan of the, the original icons, honestly. I believe they're from like uh, Twitter or something like that. Uh, they're okay, but I really like these ones down here. But I usually use a theme so you don't ever see the stock icon. But you can change the app icon. You can filter as well. So if you want to filter certain things in the application, I don't really use the filter, but you can filter sources and stuff like that. Uh, so pretty nice that you can make filters. Um, and then you have some home options here. Um, so you have fe uh, featured packages. I always leave that on because I sometimes find tweaks that I never heard of by leaving that on. And then you can have a feature type. So you can have it be random through a random uh, repo or source that you have in Zebra or you can do repo featured uh, there's a little bit of information about those I just leave it on repo featured and then down here we have our sources so you can have them automatically refresh when you launch Zebra I like that feature you have your download timeout so a lot of times uh, and, and this is a super common question that people have like especially with Cydia City is really bad about this but um, if a source is not working, so basically a, a, a repo or a source is essentially in, you know, a simple term, a, a website, a website that houses packages. And sometimes websites need to be down for maintenance. So if that website is down, the repo is not going to be able to refresh. So you can, you can have a timeout for that. If one of the repos just will not refresh, it will just kick it out and stop trying to refresh it. And Cydia has that issue where you guys will see when you refresh your repos, you get all that red text. That's usually because a repo is either not working or it's down for maintenance or something like that. So um, you can um, time out your download. I switched mine to 15 seconds. I think that that works uh, really, really well at that time frame. In your changes section, you can have community news. I keep that on. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, and then packages, this is super cool as well. You can always install the latest version of that package. So it won't prompt you, you just click install and then you install the newest one. Or if you have this toggled off, it will show you which versions are available to install. Again, I'll show you guys that in a minute. And then you have a search option here. You can have it be live search. So as you type, it shows what packages match your search criteria. You can turn that off if you're on an older iPhone. Um, it can help speed up searching. So if you're on like an old like iPhone 7 or something like that, and it's really laggy when you search for things, turn that off. It'll speed up your searching by quite a bit. And then you do have your council. So council is the screen that shows you the download progress of a package that you are installing. You can have it finish automatically. And what that means is it'll either kick out of the console or if it does require a respring, which most tweaks do, it will auto respring your device. I keep that turned off so I can choose what I want to do when it's done. So I can either click the respring button or I can close the console and continue searching through Zebra. So you do have a control for that. You have miscellaneous here. You have uh, these are the swipe actions. You can have it just be an icon or text. I'll just keep it on text so you guys know what the swipe actions are. But if you want to change it to just an icon, which looks really minimal, you can do that. So pretty cool. And now you have some more options here. You can reset a bunch of stuff. You can restart the springboard directly from, from Zebra. You can refresh the icon cache. You can clear image cache. You can clear web cache. You can clear sources cache. You can reset all settings. You can reset or erase all sources or erase all sources and settings. So if you wanna just start fresh, you can do that. So a lot of control over the resetting portion here. It's kind of similar to way uh, stock iOS is when you go into general and reset and you kind of have all of those options. I thought that that was really cool. And that's basically everything in settings, which is a lot of stuff. 
But now going through the home page itself. So here are the featured packages. You can turn this off or leave it on. Like I said, I like to leave it on because sometimes I do discover new tweaks here or themes or, you know, what have you. It's constantly cycling through different packages showing you what is there and you can just click on it and it will launch the package. So that's the featured. Um, if you guys ever encounter an issue with Zebra where something doesn't seem like it's working, you can report a bug right at the top. So I like that they have that there. Uh, they're constantly trying to improve Zebra. So if you guys ever have an issue, just make sure you let them know and I'm sure they'll try to fix it. You have a change log for Zebra. So if you want to see all of the updates and what the updates have done, you can check out the change log. You have your community sources here, which I showed you guys. That's how you can import in others, uh, in other package managers sources into Zebra and add other sources there. You have your stores section. This is handy as well. So a lot of uh, sources have you create an account with a login. That way you can make purchases. Like with the PackX repo, you have an account with them. You have your, uh, we'll just go into it. So you, you can sign in um, and then you have all of the purchases for the paid um, tweaks and themes and stuff like that. So you can sign into the store. You only need to sign in one time and then you can make purchases. Um, you know, if you want to install something new after that, you can also, as you can see, see all of the packages you have purchased from that source. And as you guys can see, I've been at this for a while. I have purchased quite a few, but it's very cool that you can sign into the store there and um, make purchases when you guys are buying you know, tweaks or themes or whatever package. Uh, so very cool that there's the store section. You have a wish list here. So if you want a tweak and you maybe don't have a couple dollars at the time, uh, you can add it to a wish list. That way you don't forget about it. And another cool feature of this is you can share a tweak from the wish list. So if you want to share a tweak with somebody, just click the share sheet. And as you can see, you can share that tweak. I thought that that was really cool too. I haven't used this enough. <laughs> if I would have known about this, um, you know, quite a while ago, I would be sharing them on Twitter and stuff like that with their all of their information. So very cool in the wish list. You can see, you know, all of the the packages you've added, and you can share them. And then you do have some community options at the bottom here. You can join the Zebra Discord. You can follow Zebra on Twitter, and then there's credits. These are all the creators, the contributors, the translators. So everyone that has helped make Zebra. Um, and that's basically it for the home page. So moving on, we got the sources page. Now there's a lot of great features here as well. So I'm going to try to cover them. So obviously you can see all of the sources you have installed. Like I said, I have a ton. I have over 100 sources. Now I'm going to show you guys just how fast Zebra is. I'm going to go ahead and refresh all of these sources and you guys will see just how fast Zebra is. Like I said, this is over 100 sources as you guys can see you can just pull down and it will refresh all the sources and boom we're done super fast that's an incredibly fast refresh for that many sources if you were to try that in Cydia you'd probably be waiting about five minutes so just keep keep that in mind that's a lot of sources you can click edit delete them if you want you can share all of your repos at once that is super useful so if you want to share with somebody all of the repos you have, you can do that. Uh, you can also click the plus button to add a repo. And you can also batch add as well. So if you want to add a whole bunch of repos at once, just uh, paste them all in here. Click add. It'll add all of the sources at once. Super functional. Of course, from here, you can swipe. You can refresh just that one uh, source. You can remove it. And another cool feature that I don't think a whole lot of people know about, if you click and hold on a source, you can share just that one source. So you can just click copy and it'll copy just that one source if you wanted to share it. So very, very cool. And of course you can just swipe through here and view all of them. So that's that's basically the, the repos or the sources section. And then you have your changes. So these are all the newest packages uh, from all of the sources you have. And this includes new packages and updated ones as well. You can filter packages as well if you don't want them showing up on the screen. You can filter them out in the settings like I showed you guys. Um, but from here, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can swipe, have swipe actions here to install. 
Um, you can click into the package to find out all of the details of it. Um, and there's some useful stuff here at the top that's kind of unique for Zebra. So you have the, um, the ID of the package, you have the creator of the package, and I'm not sure, sometimes they have their email available if you wanna message them through via email, you can click on their name. You have which version the package is, how big the package is, so how much you know memory is it gonna take up. It shows you which source it's from. You can add it to your wish list. And then you can also view more packages by this developer. So that's really cool. So as you can see, this is all the stuff that this developer has created. So that's very useful in itself. So if you like a tweak or a theme by somebody in specific, you can see everything they've created. Pretty cool. And then of course the rest of the body is um, the kind of web page for that package. As you can see, this is from the Packix repo. So this is um, basically generated from their website. You also have your purchase or install button in the upper right. Um, I've noticed that if you try to purchase in Zebra from that button, it sometimes is a little weird. What you wanna do is go to the body of the package and click purchase from there and not up in the status bar area. I find that to be a little bit more functional and uh, sometimes there's issues by clicking the top one when you could just click it in the body of the package. And of course from here you can just pull down to refresh. Again, this is refreshing all of the sources and then it will you know, um, display all the changes and everything from there. And I think that's basically everything from the, um, from the changes section. And um, obviously if you swipe on something, you can click on install. It adds it to your queue. So you can add multiple packages at once. Let's go down here a little bit to um, some of these older packages that aren't all the same. So like Uranium, again, we can click on install. Now here's that version um, you know, option that I was talking about in settings. So if you have it set to install latest, it will just install the latest. But if you have that toggled off, you can choose which version to install. I'll just select on latest. And then of course from the queue, you can click on it and view it. You can clear the queue. You can click on confirm to install. You can click on the little arrow to drop it back down. You can swipe on a package to remove it from the queue. And let's just go ahead and confirm these two packages. So here's the console. I think it looks really good. I love the console on Zebra. And as you can see, I, I did install a tweak. So it is saying, you know, in order for the tweak to take effect, I need to restart the springboard. Um, I don't have to, if I don't want to, I can just click on close and I can exit out like that. We can go to the packages section. You can view all of the packages you have installed on your iPhone or iPad, whatever you're using. And uh, for those of you that are gonna ask, this tweak is called Stripe Count. It puts how many packages you have installed with Zebra. Zebra doesn't do that natively. Uh, that was a tweak that I installed. Again, the name is Stripe Count. But you can alphabetically view all of the packages by date, so which is the newest ones you have installed. From this, you can swipe again. You have the ability to downgrade, to reinstall, or to remove. So we'll just click on remove. And as you can see, as you do this, it puts a little you know, uh, tab there that shows you what you're doing with it. Like if I do reinstall, as you can see, chat UI can downgrade, let's say to 1.0.0, as you can see there. So very, very functional on installing and you know changing the packages, uninstalling, upgrading, downgrading. Um, and of course, like I said, you can just clear the queue if you want to, you know, cancel it out and you can also view them by size. So I believe this is from the smallest to the largest, I believe. No, this is going to be from the largest package, uh, package to the smallest. So if you want to see what's taking up the most space, you can do that. So very, very cool. And you can share all of your packages, your entire package list at once. So if you guys wanted to share with somebody all of the tweaks you have on your iPhone, you can do that. Very, very cool. Another quick tip that people don't seem to know about is you can see there's the um, A, B, C, D alphabetical, you know, uh, thing on the side there. Uh, if you swipe along this, you can quickly get to, um, you know, a, a certain letter. So if I wanted to get to the M's, I can just swipe to the M's. And as you can see, it takes me to, to those uh, packages. 
So I, I didn't think a lot of people knew about that. You can just swipe on it and it'll quickly jump you through all of the letters uh, instead of, you know, starting from up here and going like this. And it takes ages to get down to like, you know, uh, the bottom. So cool little tip there. And then we do have our search section here. Of course, you can just search for a package, whatever it might be. And there's some filters or some options here that are super functional as well. So if I do like chat UI, I can search for the package. I can also search in a description. So if you don't know the name of a package, um, you can search for what it does and you might be able to find it. So if I search status bar and this is searching through the descriptions of the packages, you could possibly find the tweak that way. Or if you don't know, um, you know what it does or the name of it, but you want to search for uh, a creator or, a, you know, a developer, you can search by author, which is pretty damn cool as well. We can clear it. Um, and as you can see, you do have a recent search um, kind of tab here. So every time you click search, it will add a new, you know, search uh, criteria that you looked for. You can click clear to just clear it all and click cancel when you're all done. So uh, that's some of the coolest features of Zebra. There's a ton of stuff you can do. There's also one other thing I wanted to cover here that I thought was a really cool feature that I don't think I've really seen any other package manager do. And that is if you find a package outside of a, uh, outside of, you know, uh, Zebra or Cydia or Cilio, if you find a package and for example, we're going to go into discord here. Now I'm a part of the, the home plus discord because I am a Patreon member, uh, to the developer. And as you can see, here is a dev file and this is for the home plus tweak. But as you can see, I'm in a completely different app. I'm not in Zebra. So what I can do is click on this package. And as you can see, it gives me the option to open it in Zebra to install it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that option and it jumps you into Zebra and you can view the dev file and click on install. It's in our queue. We can confirm. And uh, I thought that that was really cool. So you can install packages outside of the app. If you find them in a discord channel or on the internet, wherever it might be, you can still use Zebra to install packages without installing the source that it's from. Super cool feature, but that's gonna be basically it. That is everything with Zebra. That is at least everything I know of. That is all the coolest features. And like I said, Zebra is just my favorite package manager. It's the fastest. I think it's the it's got the best design and I just absolutely love using it on iOS 14. But anyways, hopefully you guys found this very long video useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.